Somewhere, far, far away in the cosmos, a massive star is reaching the end of its life. Maybe it has run out of its cosmic fuel, hydrogen. Maybe it's become too large, collapsing under its own weight. Or maybe it had been munching on matter, shamelessly stealing it from its companion star until it became unable to handle its own mass. Whatever it is, the star reaches the very last stage of its life, and it's not fading quietly into the dark fabric of space and time. No, it spews its stellar insides, like Mr. Creosote from Monty Python, all over the universe in a tsunami of particles and elements, turning into a supernova. And it's one of the most extreme things in the universe. Sounds scary. What if one of those exploded near our home planet? Would we survive? Well, that's a legit question. But first, let's figure out what is a supernova. In short, it is a gigantic explosion. This explosion is the largest in space, and it unleashes enormous amounts of energy. No wonder that the temperature at the core of a supernova is often 6,000 times higher than in the sun's core. And it means it can reach several billion degrees Fahrenheit within microseconds, which is almost impossible to imagine. After that, atoms get crammed together so infinitely close that the squeezed core recoils and the star explodes, creating a superheated shockwave. It might come as a surprise, but many of the elements you're made of come from supernova. It can be anything, from the oxygen you're breathing to the calcium your bones contain. The iron in your blood or the silicon in your computer could easily have been brewed in the heart of a star. And when a supernova explodes, it unleashes a storm of nuclear reactions, which in turn produces lots of building blocks making up the world around us. Supernova can also be called neutrino-producing factories, and that's a big deal. Neutrinos are ghostly particles that can travel through almost anything in the universe without any problem. For example, to stop a neutrino, you'd need a light-year-thick wall of lead. But when a star explodes, its center gets so dense that even neutrinos need to sweat to escape. But when they do run away, they carry 99% of the energy of the supernova. Supernova are also like natural space laboratories. They can accelerate particles to more than 1,000 times the energy of particles in the world's most powerful Large Hadron Collider. When the blast of a supernova interacts with the surrounding interstellar gas, it creates a magnetized region called a shock. Particles move into this shock, bouncing around the magnetic field and getting accelerated. After that, they get released into space, and some of these high-energy particles, called cosmic rays, slam into our atmosphere. There, they collide with atoms and create showers of secondary particles raining down on our heads. As if that wasn't enough, supernova produce radioactivity. The nuclear reactions inside these space explosions cook up radioactive isotopes. And some of this radioactivity emits light signals, for example, gamma rays, which we can see in space. Exactly this radioactivity is what makes supernova so bright. Now let's get back to the most burning questions of what would happen if a supernova went off near Earth. Well, first things first, Earth is located in a relatively safe area called the local bubble. This is a peanut-shaped region of expanding gas within our home Milky Way galaxy. It appeared after a series of supernova explosions that occurred relatively nearby around 14 million years ago. These events also helped shape our solar system, spreading gas, dust, and heavier elements like gold and uranium. On average, a supernova occurs in the Milky Way once every 50 years or so. Luckily, there are no stars massive enough to turn into a supernova within 50 light-years from Earth. Wait, it's too early to breathe a sigh of relief! A binary star system around 150 light-years away might potentially put us at risk. Binary star systems are Type 1a supernova. Explosions occur when the matter from one star is pulled away into the other, usually a white dwarf. Eventually, the white dwarf explodes, producing a supernova of epic proportions. There are also Type II supernova. They happen when a star runs out of fuel, and then some of its mass starts flowing into its core. 
The core grows and grows and becomes so heavy that it cannot withstand its own gravitational force anymore. That's when the core collapses, resulting in a supernova. During an explosion, a powerful blast of radiation spreads throughout the cosmos, eliminating everything within 50 light years. For comparison, our solar system is a mere 2 light years across. It means that a supernova would wipe out 25 solar systems placed side by side. If a supernova occurred around 30 light years away from Earth, it would be a huge problem. An incredibly powerful blast of radiation would bring a massive influx of high energy neutrinos. Our poor planet would be vaporized in just a fraction of a second. Even the shockwave would have enough force to wipe out our oceans and the entire atmosphere of our planet. Well, I'm not sticking around for that. The exploded star would keep growing and becoming brighter for around three more weeks after turning into a supernova. Even if some life managed to survive somewhere on the planet, the superheated gas from the supernova would finish its work with gamma radiation and giant amounts of UV. They would destroy the ozone layer of our planet completely, which would lead to the formation of nitrous oxide smog. If people had enough time to escape deep, deep underground, they would have to get used to their new life. They wouldn't be able to get back to the surface, afraid of the radiation and poisonous atmosphere. Now, you may ask, wouldn't Earth's magnetic field protect us? Indeed, cosmic ray particles can be deflected by magnetic fields. But everything would depend on the distance between our planet and a supernova. Computer simulations show that a supernova 320 light-years from Earth wouldn't have any significant effects on our lives. But if a supernova was 160 light-years away, the enhanced stream of cosmic rays would hit Earth, and it would be 10 times more powerful than background levels. The effects would also last for centuries. But the situation would become critical if a supernova exploded as close as 65 light-years away from our planet. Then the flood of cosmic rays would surge to 200 times higher than normal. It would have dramatic consequences for our planet. At least 30% of its ozone layer would be destroyed, and this number would reach 87% in polar regions. The research also speculates that nearby supernova could have been responsible for at least one of the mass extinctions of complex life on Earth in the last 500 million years. But worry not, there are very few stars that might go supernova in the next oh, million years or so. Two of them are called Antares and Betelgeuse, but both of them are more than 500 light-years away. Another candidate, I.K. Pegasi, is around 150 light-years away. It's unlikely that even if it goes supernova, Earth would be seriously harmed. We haven't seen a supernova in the Milky Way galaxy in over 400 years. The most recent explosion was observed in 2023, and it didn't even happen in our galaxy. And in 1987, a supernova occurred in a nearby satellite galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud. And here's a cool bonus fact for you. Scientists use supernova to discover dark energy. You see, thermonuclear supernova are extremely bright, like me. And since their light can brighten and dim in a certain way, they're like lighthouses for astronomers. Experts can measure the true brightness of supernova by observing the time scale over which their light brightens and fades. Then, they compare how bright these supernova appear and how bright they really are, and it helps figure out how far away they are. Researchers also measure something known as red shift, the increase in the wavelength of a supernova's light as it moves farther away. And then, by comparing the red shift and the distance to the supernova, Scientists can measure the rate of expansion that has been changing over the history of the universe. And so far, they believe that the culprit for this expansion acceleration is dark energy. Hey, works for me!